Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use your digital Bloom Daily Planner in the Zoto app. Zoto is a free app that's available on Apple and Android devices as well as desktops. For today's demo, I'll be showing you how to use your Bloom Digital Daisy Planner on an iPad Pro. If you like the planner used in this tutorial, you can find it along with our other digital products in our Etsy shop, linked below. Let's begin with some basic navigation. There's a few ways to navigate the pages of your planner in Zodo. The first way is by swiping your finger across the screen, left or right. The other way to navigate to other pages is by tapping the four squares icon in the top left corner. This will bring up page thumbnails where you can simply tap the page you want to navigate to. When you're on a page, you can pinch your fingers to zoom in and out of your planner spread. This makes it easier to write and decorate each page. Now we're going to dive into some of the tools available on Zoto. There's a menu at the top of the bar. If you tap that, you'll get a drop down menu with various tools to choose from. We're going to look over annotate, draw, and insert because you'll likely be using these three the most when you're using your planner. So let's get started by selecting the annotate menu. You'll notice that your toolbar at the top has now changed. The first two icons in the annotate menu are both highlighting tools. One will highlight text that you've typed into the planner, and the other works more as a free moving marker that you can draw or highlight anything you want. The next tool is the markup tool. This tool brings up multiple drawing tools at the bottom of your screen, as well as a color menu. Each of these pens and markers draw in different ways. Some are thicker or thinner, and some are transparent. Following the markup tool is the text tool. To use the text tool, you simply tap wherever you want to type, and your keyboard will appear on screen. Once you're finished typing your text, click the Done button to get rid of your keyboard. The next tool is the Comment tool. To use this one, you just tap wherever you want to leave a comment, and Zoto will create a little comment icon where, if tapped, will display the comment that you typed. Following that tool, we have several underlining tools. One is regular, one is squiggly, and one is a strike through. The next tool is another comment tool, but this one creates a box with an arrow. You can use this the same way as the type tool. Tap to bring up your keyboard, type your comment, and then tap done. Following that tool, we have a selection tool, which you can use by tapping and dragging a box over the objects you want to select. The last tool in this row is an erase tool, which is used by dragging over objects you want to erase. The next tool menu we're going to look at is the draw menu. Once we select this from the top menu, a new set of tools is shown along the top bar. The first icon here is the markup tool, which is the same as the annotate menu. The second icon is the pen tool. The tool next to that is the eraser tool. And following that, we have multiple shape tools. We have various shapes to choose from, including rectangles, circles, pentagons, clouds, lines, arrows, and graphs. To use the shape tools, you simply tap in your planner and drag the shape as large or small as you want it. Following this tool menu, we have the insert tool menu. This menu will be how you insert stickers and planner covers into your digital planner. The first tool in the new menu bar that's displayed is the signature tool. With this tool, you can create a custom signature and then insert it where needed. Following that, we have the Insert Images tool. This is the tool you'll probably use most next to the pen tools. To use this tool, you just tap anywhere in your planner and it will bring up a menu asking where you'd like to insert images from. You get three options to choose from. Camera, Photo Library, and Files. Depending where you've saved your stickers or what images you want to insert, you'll want to tap one of these three options and then navigate to the image you want to insert. Once you have your image or sticker inserted, you can tap to select it and then press and hold one of the circles on the corners to resize it. You'll also notice that when you tap the image, a menu will appear above it with options to note, crop, flatten, copy, duplicate, and delete and to the right side is a circle to rotate your image. The tool following Insert Images is the Link tool. 
to use this tool, you can draw a rectangle around the portion of your planner you'd like to link, and then a pop-up menu will appear where you can type the link in the text box. With this menu, you have the option to link pages in your planner together, or you can link to an outside website. Following the link tool, we have the stamp tool. To use this one, you tap anywhere in your planner and the stamp menu will appear. You get lots of preset options, but something cool that you can do with this tool is that you can create custom stamps. With custom stamps, you get lots of options such as adding the date and time to a stamp, changing the shape, and changing the color. The next tool is the attachment tool. This one functions much like how you would attach a file to an email. Once you select which file you'd like to attach, Zoto will insert a small paperclip icon in your planner that you can then click and open your attachment. So that concludes the overview of the three tool menus that this tutorial will cover. I hope that you found this video helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or reach out to us on any of our social medias. Happy planning!